tune. I could hear the whole tune in my head. It was all there, I could see all the notes, and I just had to get it out. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. What did you say your name was again? My name is... Reggie! Reginald Dwight. Reginald? That's my granddad's name. So that is a fat boy from nowhere. Get to be a soul man. You gotta kill the person you were born to be in order to become the person you want to be. I'm thinking of changing my name to Elton. But that's my name. Yeah, I know. You could be the best-selling artist in America if you desire. I was trying to do something bold. Why are you still something flashy? Can you even play the piano in those? Let him know who you are. And just don't kill yourself with drugs. So how does it feel to be a star? It's never gonna last. Let's just enjoy it while we can. No sleeping arrangements, Kato. All of this is gone. I just hope you realise you're choosing a life of being alone forever. Don't you want to just sing without this ridiculous paraphernalia? People don't pay to see Reg White. They pay to see Elton John. Sorry. Penny. I care how much pressure I'm under. Not really. I'll still be collecting my 20% long after you've killed yourself. Maybe I should have tried to be more ordinary. You were never ordinary. teacher thinks I'm good enough for a scholarship at the Royal Academy of Music. The Royal Academy of Music? <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. Royal. Scissors. What do you think? Um, the red one's good. It's only on Saturdays. Things to do on weekends. Can't just drop everything. I'll take you. Where are you off to? Don't know. I haven't decided yet. But whatever it is, you're not invited. Reggie's piano teacher thinks he's good enough for a scholarship. Really? You think he's got that kind of talent? Of course he has. But you'd know that if you took the slightest bit of interest in me or this family. Don't bet on you. 63, it's a good vintage. Oh, no, thanks. It's uh, always important to rely on the kindness of strangers. John Reed. Elton. I know it all seems a bit overwhelming at first, but uh, something makes me think you'll get used to it. In fact, I predict you could be the best selling artist in America if you desire. I see you like the song, then. Not quite as much as the singer. Bernie Talkin. Yeah. You must be Elton? Yeah. Hi. Well, that's my stage name. Oh. Well, you, you can tell me your real name when we get to know each other better. Right. Uh, um... I was Have thinking... you ever... Uh, sorry. Sorry. No, no, please. I'll see you. I like your lyrics. Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I got the tape that you sent. It's great. Really good. Thanks. Oh, hang on. Uh, hey, don't, don't bother with that one. That wasn't supposed to be in there. That's not by no, mistake. no, that's really good. I wrote a tune to it. Yeah, I bought a song. Yeah, I read it and I could hear the whole tune in my head. It was all there, I could see all the notes and I just had to get it out. It's like my fingers couldn't work fast enough to keep up with my brain. <laughs> Do you ever get anything like that? Uh, uh, not really, no. <laughs> um, I can write more for you though, Elton. I'll just send them down to you. Great. What did you say your name was again? Elson. Taron is an actor of incredible range. Blue jean, baby, L.A. lady. Elton said, I don't think I've ever heard anyone sing my songs better than Taron. Elton's songs are the defining moments in people's lives, and the songs should all come from a place of character. Taron's actually singing in the film. And he's so convincing, and his voice is incredible. I don't think there's anyone in the world who could play Elton. It's Taron's role. It's been the greatest joy of my professional life making this film. It's never going to last. Let's just enjoy it while we can. in Italy. The song doesn't work, that's the problem. The record's coked out, M.O.R. The problem is you have never understood me and what I have to go through. And you know what? I should have sacked you when you left me. I am glad I left you. It means I can maintain some objectivity on your self-indulgent myopic little world. Get in the studio and make some music or don't. I don't care. Well, you will when your money runs out. Do your worst. In fact, take me to court. You signed contracts with me years ago, so I'll still be collecting my 20% long after you've killed yourself. Stones had a new girl, Chevy, and a place of my own. But the big chick I ever got didn't think I was quite good out. While the others give you back around the clock. This film is Elton's magical retelling of his own life. You serious about wanting to be a rock and roller? Yeah. From a young age, he was a true musical prodigy. It's amazing that this working class kid is now one of the biggest icons in the world. Music for the young boy pulled him out of a very unhappy childhood. Hands off the table. Stop making that noise. And that opened the door to a world full of infinite possibilities. Because of the nature of who Elton is, the storytelling allowed us to totally indulge in the fantasy and imagination. The story is surreal but real. It's a bold piece of filmmaking. 
This is more than just a biopic. This is exactly how an Elton John story should be told. It had to be as honest as possible. The lows were very low, but the highs were very high. And that's how I wanted the film to be. You can be anyone you want, Elton John. I just hope you realize you're choosing a life of being alone forever. The pain, and the joy, and I think it's the sorrow. You turn it into songs that people love. That's your gift. It's been the greatest joy of my professional life making this film. I have found the process of inhabiting Elton John and his wardrobe incredibly liberating. Julian Day is definitely the most brilliant designer I've ever worked with. He's incredibly collaborative and he understands the relationship between the costumes and performance. What we talked about was using the basis of Elton's clothes to create our own look for him. Costumes are brilliant. Can you even play the piano in those? It just brings the film to life. Maybe I should have tried to be more ordinary. He were never ordinary. There's over 50 pairs of shoes. There's over 50 pairs of glasses. There's a massive, massive amount of material. I really love the Yellow Brick Road outfit. I obviously looked at the Wizard of Oz. So he's got a blue suit with ruby red shoes on, made of Swarovski crystals. The shirt is made of silver fabric, which is like the Tin Man. He's got a straw hat on for the scarecrow and a big fake fur coat for the lion. When I do a show, even now, 20 minutes before I go on, I choose my outfit. And until then, I don't become ill. And then when I put my outfit on, I'm in the park. There are moments in a rock star's life that define who he is. Where there was darkness, there is now you. And it's going to be a wild ride. <laughs>